Hey Scorpio. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone that has Scorpio and their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Scorpio that watches, okay? All right, this could be for anyone that's taken, single, loosely involved, married, don't give a damn, all right? <laughs> um, some of you are most likely in a Libra or a Libra Scorpio cusp or dealing with a Libra, because when I say this is damn near the exact read, <laughs> Two of these cards are the same exact cards that was in exam ex same exact placements, okay? And some of the same exact overall messages. So if, if y'all dealing with a Libra or in the cusp between Libra and Scorpio, y'all yeah, might want to go watch the Libra read, okay? Overall energy, just like they had, was the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, and listening to ego. Um, you also have I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, and wants a date. Then you have the phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change the mind, okay? So for a lot of you, this could be a newer energy and it's transforming into the next phase for some of you. Uh, honorable mention, it tried to come out, but I normally only take three um, of those black cards, all right? Um, you have mask, not showing the true feelings, high, pretend, delude, personify, and gaslighting, all right? Bottom of the deck is wedding rings, union, wear, wedding, married, soul connection, everlasting promise, and a uh, uh, partnership. <laughs> All right, so let's see, let's get into it. Past energy is the five of swords, which is funny because the Libra um, energy in the past is the four of swords. So yeah, that's very much similar. Um, an unwise choice, learn what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives. There was a lot of game playing energy in the past, okay, it looks like. Tell me about the five of swords. Oh shit. Tell me about this five of swords. The king of cups is trying to fly out. Alright, could be a lot of love here. That's what I'm seeing. Could I find the five of swords? I'm seeing someone making unwise choices. Ace of cups. Alright, this could be a newer energy. Or this could have been. Now, bear with me because for some of you, there may not have been gameplay. But the five of swords here, this could be someone strategically trying to figure a way um, on how to. Propose a new relationship, okay? Um, propose a next step in a relationship. Tell me more about the past. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the judgment card. So, there's some of you, it could be um, someone asking for um, a second chance. This could be an apology for playing games for some of you, okay? Is this someone you used to deal with? Others of you, it's a new per a newish person. Uh, you know what? No, never mind. No, it's not. It was like someone you know of already that you know that you have some kind of level of history with. All right. Tell me more about the past. This could be an air sign or a water sign. Tell me more about the past. Two of coins. Yeah, I know. Somebody was definitely playing games. There could have been a lot of on and off energy here. Someone could have acted like they were... Someone could have been juggling you and someone else. This could have been you doing this. For some of you. For a lot of you. Could have been you doing this. Five of swords and two of coins. Um... I don't know if it was them or not. Some of you could have been, but I do see a lot of secrets here. Okay, high priestess energy. This could be a Pisces you're dealing with or a Capricorn. Okay, don't really matter who's doing it, but somebody here was playing games. It may have been very much on and off, okay? Um, I'm getting breadcrumbing, kind of. Even though a six of cups, six of coins is not here, I do see a bit of a breadcrumbing energy. Okay, maybe they gave you, maybe you gave them just a little bit just to keep them satisfied and you would go ghost or maybe they did this. But I definitely see somebody who was kind of fearing intimacy with this runner here. Like giving the bare minimum and kind of doing whatever the hell they wanted to do. Current energy is wheel. So I feel like that is changing now. Okay, this is the wheel of fortune. This is spirit stepping in really. Tell me about the wheel. This is a time for a positive change. Okay, a situation is moving forward. Fortune is on your side. Okay, whatever you're wanting is kind of coming to fruition. See, the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or a Cancer. It's kind of, the lighting is very bright. Okay, chariot. <laughs> There's an energy of you two moving forward though. I'm not sure if you're trying to move away from this person um, or if you two are moving forward in a better light. Okay, tell me more about this. This was like a new, um, Four of Wands, no, this is you two coming into um, union. All right, Four of Wands here, Aries energy. So for some of you, not all of you. Somebody here is visiting, I'm getting Chariot and Four of Wands. I'm seeing someone maybe visiting somebody's house. Okay, take that if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. I'm seeing someone going physically to somebody's house and trying to create some type of change um, in a good way, in a positive way. It feels like you, 
it feels like you're very determined to see something through. Um, and I feel like fortune is on your side. I feel like luck is on your side. I feel like spirit, I feel like spirit just kind of stepping in and kind of helping you with the situation. Um, this feels like you going towards them or them coming towards you. It really doesn't matter. Okay. But I do see positivity in the connection now. A lot of it. Okay. Um, this actually could be a relationship now. Some of you may live long distance is what they're trying to pick up with the eight of cups here at the bottom as well. Okay. This is you two moving forward even after a separation period. How you feel about this person is the knight of cups. You are falling for this person, okay? Um, or still um, in love with this person. I feel like you're wanting more than what you have with this person. Um, I feel like you feel this person is romantic or very emotional. Um, you may feel like they're very intuitive, very creative. I'm getting sensitive, okay? But I also feel like you could see marrying them, to be honest. Clarify the knight of cups. I feel like you could see marrying them, to be honest. Four of wands, the weddings, what I just said, ace of coins. Yeah, I feel like you see. I feel like you feel this person has potential to be a long-term partner for you. You feel, you're very serious about this person. Your emotions are in there, and you feel like this person has potential to, for a long term. I'm not sure what happened since someone was playing games, but there's a lot of new beginnings here. A lot of it. Okay, I feel like this is drastic. There was a drastic, unexpected change that came out of nowhere, and I feel like it had to do with them trying to come to you for a relationship. And I feel like right now you're in a relationship with this person. Okay, for a lot of you, it feels like someone you may be living with. Um, some of you could share a car or share a house with this person or both. Like, this looks really good, actually. I don't know. I, just, I feel like there was, a lot, there was a lot of forgiveness in the past with this Ace of, Ace of Cups in the past. Um, attached to the, two, the Five of Swords, I feel like there was a lot of forgiveness. The Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Another card of a relationship with forgiveness. Okay. A connection that continues to grow closer no matter what. It feels kind of unconditional okay um how this person feels about you is the three of swords this person is still hurt about whatever happened okay i don't know if again it's pointing at y'all just like at libra's reading if it, it felt like it was it was pointing at libra for some reason tell me about the three of swords now flip it if you need to but yeah queen of coins they do feel like you are more focused on your money than anything okay it feels like you are very much focused on your independence I don't think you've been telling this person how you feel for them. Um, considering you feel like they are long-term potential, they feel like you're more so focused on your money and your career and your finances. Yeah, you, I feel, are wearing a mask. I feel like they, this person does not know um, how you feel. I feel like they haven't used their intuition to see how you feel for the most, for the most part. Tell me more about how this person feels. They also feel like you are very um, financially independent, very secure, very loyal, very dedicated, very... Um, nurturing okay very honorable um let's see two more this could be a libra or a capricorn you're dealing with seven of wands they feel like i don't know if they feel they have to stand their ground towards you or they feel like you are or will stand your ground towards them they thought they want to fight for this but they thought like they may be fighting alone i just got um someone feels that they're doing that they feel like it's them against the world. I don't know if that's you or them, but I just got me against the world in my head. I don't know if that's you or them, but it may be, it, I feel like it may be them. It may be them. Um, this could be a Leo for some of you. <clears throat> Nine of coins, the moon, and the six of swords. They feel like you moved on. So what are you doing? What are you doing? What is, wait, what is Scorpio doing in this connection? Nine of Swords, you are being very silent. You're being very silent. You're also stressed out for some reason. There's a, oh, there's too much going on. There's way too much going on, uh, Scorpio. Um, what does the person want with Scorpio? What does the person want with Scorpio? I thought they want you too, though. But with this Queen of Coins here, that's good. that could just symbolize that this person feels like you are focused more so on your money than on them. Okay. This person wants a relationship with you. Okay, if you're not already in a relationship, this person wants a relationship. If you're in a relationship, they want things to, to grow closer. They want things to move forward um, more than they are. For a lot of you, this is someone you've been in a relationship with for quite some time. This feels like a relationship that moves on to the next phase. But I feel like this person hasn't really fully forgiven something, whether it's you forgiving you or themselves about something that happened in the past. Okay, um, you feel like, I feel like you have completely moved on from whatever that was and you're moving forward. 
I feel like you're just moving forward. You're like, I'm only, you're only seeing the positive. They're kind of still standing their ground and kind of making sure that nothing else happens on their end. I don't know, take it as a resume, flip it if you need to. Then maybe you, and maybe they forgot about everything and they're just trying to move forward. Flip it if you need to. But one of you is like, okay, fuck the past. Let's move forward. I love you. You love me. Let's keep, let's just move on. And you know, I see potential for us long term. And the other one is like, I do too, but I can't just forget what happened. You know what I'm saying? I get that energy, okay? Your advice is the Hierophant, okay? This is the energy of marriage, okay? Maybe you're being told to commit long-term in a, in a marriage-like energy. Um, you do have wedding rings at the bottom of the deck. So, um, you, if, if not, you're being told to seek out mentors or like-minded friends, someone that can help you, someone who's very wise, possibly a priest or like someone who's very spiritual, all right? An older person, someone who knows something, okay? Eight of coins. I feel like you're being told to put the work in, okay? Because some of y'all are not doing shit, all right? A lot of y'all not doing nothing. Y'all just kind of sit back and kind of stressed out, overthinking the situation. Some of y'all are expecting the worst out of this connection. Um, like, you may not have the most, like, the best hope for this. Because your current energy towards them is a nine of swords, like I just saw. Um, so I feel like you're kind of just sitting back and just hoping shit gets better. Um, but low-key stress that it won't work. Okay, you're being told to actually put some work in, like create this, okay? If not, this could end up being something that ends up separating again due to drama or and conflict, especially mental conflict, all right? It's too much going on. I feel there's a movement that needs to be here, okay? Uh, I feel like things are going good right now, though. But I feel like somebody is still kind of holding on to past shit, all right? <sighs> Their new future actually towards you is a seven of, co seven of coins, all right? Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, and unnecessary worry. Okay, for a lot of you, this person is worried too. Tell me about the seven of coins. This person is like two of wands. They are still trying to... I still feel like they're trying to plan something with you. I still feel like they're trying to move forward. They're trying to make a choice. But there's, at the same time, though, it's like they can't move on from something. They're, they're, they're having a necessary worry as well. This could be an earth sign. I'm saying Taurus strongly or Aries. Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus cusp for some of you. I'm seeing them just, I'm seeing them thinking about the situation. I see them looking back on the past for the most part. Tell me more about their near future actions. I see them committing though. All right, this is a true parent situation. You have the king and queen of coins. Oh, what the hell, why is there we go. Hold on. Cause why does it keep wanting to focus right here? Like, no, it's my damn shoulder. Focus on the card. Damn, shit. King of coins. <laughs> All right, the king and queen of coins are now both here. Yeah, this is a true parent situation, okay? You two may both have a lot of earth placements in your charts, okay? Or you're both just very serious about each other. This is a very solid um, couple, okay? This person wants you, but they're just, they're worried about something, okay? Um, and I feel like, so you are too, but the feelings are still there on both sides. So there's just a need for you two to get through it. Um, talk it out. Their near future action towards you is committing to you, being honest with you, being dedicated. I see you both, I see you both moving kind of slowly, okay? Um, slow and steady wins a race though. Okay, I do see spirit being on your side for some of you, not all of you. This could be a twin flame connection. I'm not seeing the um, emperor or the empress. Um, I do see the four of wands and the king and queen of coins. So this could be a soulmate for the most part. Um, for a very slight portion of you, this could be a twin flame connection. But for a lot of you, it's a soulmate connection. You two have very, y'all are very like-minded. Okay? Um, very like-minded. Huh. Your outcome is the three of wands. Okay? This is you two looking out into the future for once. Y'all, neither one of y'all are looking at the past anymore. This is you looking out into the future. Looking out into what's in front of you. Finally. Tell me about the three of wands. This is you two making long-term plans, okay? There's also somebody waiting on something to happen, okay? I do see you possibly waiting on communication from this person. It's coming in, though. What you're waiting on is coming in, all right? Especially if it has to do with you getting clarity about a situation, all right? So, yeah, if you're waiting on clarity about um, some sneaky energy going around or things that you weren't seeing before, there may be closure coming up for you. I'm just, I'm seeing abundance for the most part and making long-term future plans instead of looking at the past. I see you two like maybe rushing to uh, start planning the future. There's a new phase coming up for this connection, okay? Tell me more about the outcome. 
There we go. What I say, all this, all these cards of things moving in fast. I see a lot of communication and things moving quickly. Okay, so the progress is coming. This is progress. This is communication. This is being on the same page. Okay, this is delays being over. This is you two not being in fear anymore. Okay, any additional messages for Scorpio and this person? All right, this is you two looking into the future. Yes, because of chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. This reading has turned out to be beautiful, actually. All right, this is, this is looking really good. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Have fun, be flirtatious, okay. I got teenage romance in my head. Teenage love affair, all that stuff. Alicia Keys, teenage love affair. Some of you have known this person since you were a teenager. I don't know, but I got teenage love affair by Alicia Keys. You might wanna go listen to that song. Um, That's cute. That song, I haven't listened to that song in so long. That's how I know this for you. Um, now I want to listen to it. Bottom of the deck is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and soulmate, what I say. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.